Okay, so this is my 2017 PJ utility trailer, and uh, part of the maintenance after the first 200 miles or so is they want you to adjust the brakes because this has electric brakes on it. And uh, if you've ever done drum brakes before, uh, it's basically the same type of thing. There's brake shoes in there. So I did the adjustment already, and so what they said is you're supposed to adjust it so that the wheel is difficult to turn, which it is, so there's pretty good drag right there. And then what you're gonna do is back it off um, so that there's just a slight drag. But this is definitely a lot more drag than what it was before. So I'm gonna back it off here and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're underneath the trailer here. Um, if you look, if I get the light just right here, you can see in that axis hole how there's like a, uh, I don't know, they call it a star. You can use a special tool, which I don't have. Otherwise, what you're going to do is, I don't know, this is hard to get good light. I'll show you how to do this. I'm sure there's other videos on YouTube that are better than my productions here. I get better cameras, better equipment. Um, but I'm just using this long... Uh, Craftsman screwdriver that I picked up from Goodwill for basically nothing and all you do is just rotate that uh, It's hard to do I, I gotta figure a better way to do this here So I just stick the screwdriver in as a flat blade and then you just kind of just pull and Spin that little tiny star or wheel in there and what you're doing is just moving the brake that brake shoe That's in there against the drum away from the drum so you're sucking it back in so I pushed it out till it was dragging pretty good and then you just pull it back and that's what that thing is it's threaded you probably can't see any of that though I don't know maybe you can no I don't think you can no I can't get the light in there so you can see it but it's on like a th threaded rod oh okay uh, good thing I got a jack stand underneath this thing or this jack just keeps dropping there you can kind of see the thread Sort of, yeah. So, um, I'm gonna get this one adjusted here and then I'll show you the other side and we'll see how it works. All right, so this is the driver's side. Um, that seems like it's got quite a bit of drag, but I'm gonna adjust it anyway. I don't know, I'm not by any means an expert on trailer brakes or drum brakes, cause I just, I think I'm too young to have done enough work with drum brakes. Worked a little bit, but not much. Most of it was discs, so I don't know. I'm going to tighten it up some and then back it off, and we'll see. All right, so I got hooked up here. I made the adjustment on the passenger side as well, and I'm going to take it for a drive here and see, uh, see where we're at. Right, so uh, what a huge difference. Before when I'd press just the uh, brake controller to control just the trailer brakes, I couldn't get the uh, trailer brakes to lock up. And now after making the adjustment, I'm just rolling here down the driveway and it stops the entire truck. So it definitely, yeah, way, they grab way more now. Just unreal how it, Ooh, they even lock up. They didn't lock up before. That's that's pretty good. And I guess just over time, uh, as you go, I think now every 3,000 miles you're supposed to uh, adjust those. I'm doing this by looking through the camera in the mirror, backing up a trailer. Um, you're supposed to adjust those brakes every 3,000 miles. So it's just so that I guess the linings wear evenly. So there we go. I'm going to take her for a road trip now. All right, so I got it back, uh, put away here after the uh, test drive or road trip, whatever you want to call it. Um, and all I did was I just checked the hubs here. They're warm. The rim is warm, but nothing's hot. So it's definitely not dragging too much. I would say that's about right. And it's uh, definitely braking a lot more than what it has. So if you do have a trailer with trailer brakes, I would definitely uh, check the owner's manual and see if you're supposed to adjust them. Um, I had a buddy who said, oh, you don't have to do anything with brakes. You just let them be. 
And I, I, I kind of disagree with that. I think you should actually adjust them like the book says because it seems to make a huge difference. So there you go.